Hi Smarters, it's Lucas from Contour. Welcome to this channel which helps you to develop your algorithmic trading strategies and increase your profits. Today, I will show you how to create a trading signal using MetaTrader 5 and Python. Let's get started. So first, we need to import some libraries like MetaTrader 5, Pandas, NumPy, etc. Then we need to initialize the bound between MetaTrader 5 and Python. And then we will see the main point of this video. We need to create a class MT5 because in the following videos, we will use this class to put our strategy in live trading, adding several new functions like send orders that we have seen in the previous videos and many others. So I think it will be very good to create this class step by step to a better understanding. So for this video, we'll just need the get rates function because the goal of this video is to import the data and obtain as output only true or false to understand if we need to take a buy order or a sell order. So this function is the function which comes from the video how to import data from your broker using MetaTrader 5 and Python. So I will not explain it again, but you can check all the explanation in this video. And then I will show you how to use this function, okay, to create a SMA signal. So it's a very simple signal, but it's just to highlight how to do it. Once you have understood how to create an SMA signal, you can create machine learning signal, deep learning, and very complex technical indicator, it will be exactly the same thing. So here I have just globalized the DF variable to be able to print it outside the function, but it's not necessary to globalize the function in the following step of the live trading process. So then we need to import some data. So to do it, we'll just use the get rates function with the symbol and the number of data that we want. Then we'll create some SMA. First, we'll create the 30 days SMA, okay, using the rolling function and the 60 days SMA to have an SMA fast and an SMA slow. Here, the strategy is not good, okay, because it's too easy to understand all the market variations, but it's just to alight you how to do the process of live trading. So trading the condition of the strategy and so the signal. So once we have our SMA, we will create the buy and the selling condition. So it will be very, very simple. In our example, we just want to have the fast moving average above the slow moving average to take a buy position. And in the opposite way, if the slow moving average is above the fast moving average, we take a sell position. So here we take the fast moving average and then we'll use the iLock minus one. This method is just to take the last value of the column. Because here we want to create some signal to use in live trading. And so you don't need to create a vector like if you make a backtest, okay? If you do a backtest, you need a vector to compute the return, drawdown, etc. And here you just want one variable, true or false you want to take a sell order or buy order or not. So that's why we just take the last value of the column. And to take the last value of the column, we use iLock minus one. And so we have our buying condition or selling condition. So we return then. And then if I use this function on the Euro USD, for example, we can see that if we want to follow this strategy, will take a sell order. So it's a very simple example, but if you want to go really deeper into MetaTrader 5 live trading using Python, you can check my tutorial in the description. So I hope you enjoyed the video and don't hesitate to like and subscribe. It's very essential for my SEO.